I walked into a pub with my wife and the landlord asked me, do you want a beer for your wife? I said, that sounds like a fair swap. Welcome to Shave and Butcher, coming to you today from lovely Bordeaux, Bordeaux in France. And would you know it, I was walking around yesterday, first day here, and I came across a shop with shaving gear. This is what it looked like. So this is, uh, this is what I purchased. I'll show it to you. So the shop is Au Sanglier du Russe. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put links to, uh, to them, to the website. Nicely packaged from Gentleman Barbier is, is this little thing. So this is a badger brush, a badger knot. Um, I learned uh, the French don't call anything silver tip. It's, it's um, I don't know if this would qualify as a silver tip. I think it would. This is a, a blanc, a, a white, a white, white top, um, blaireau, which is what they call it in France. Here's the um, imprint. Can you see that in the back? No, you can't, but you can see my lovely hands. It's, uh, it's gentleman barbier in it. This is made from Thuja, Thuja is a, is a tree, it's a needle tree, and uh, it's used to fence off uh, stuff, you know, so as a, as a hedge, quite common in Sweden. Uh, so what is nice about this is that, oh God, long story, um, my daughter, whom I'm visiting in Bordeaux, when she uh, was little, she couldn't say her full name, which is Victoria, so she said Tuja. And Tuya in Swedish is this tree, so we still call her Tuya as a as a little nickname. So I thought this this was kind of cool, and it's beautiful, lovely, 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 lovely wood. That's what I got. You saw the um, the box. This came with it. Comes with a bit of the history, talk more about that in a minute, but I'll get this soaked now and prepped and be back for the shave. Okay, so we're in Bordeaux and this is Au Sanglier de Russie. J'étais à Londres il y a quelques semaines. Oui. Là, il y a pas mal de... Ah oui, 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 oui. là, il y a du... Il y a Dio Harris. Euh... Harris, Taylor. Oui, voilà. Truth is in Haiti. Oui, c'est ça. And I picked up this one. What was it called? C est, c est, le nom, c'est... Gentleman Barbier. Gentleman Barbier, voilà. Euh, ça c'est vers la moisse Ouais. Euh, ouais, je vais les prendre alors. Ouais. Ça va marcher. Ok, ben bah, écoute, on va se voir quand tu rentres alors. Là, là j'ai deux colis à. Ok, we're back. <coughs> so this baby has been soaking. I feel bad using it almost because the, of course the wood will get a bit wet. Um, but what can you do? <laughs> I'm a messy latherer. The soap today is chella. Good for traveling, small little box. And the water here is so hard, it is incredible. So making sure you get enough uh, soap is important. So we'll, we'll try and make sure we, we do that. Shaving yesterday, I had to reload. Of course, that was with a slightly larger brush, but there you go. So this is quite small, I don't have the measurements. Uh, it looks looks like there's going to be a bit of backbone, but not a not an incredible amount of backbone. Um, it's quite okay. I'm used to using both kinds, so it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. So this shop au Sanglier du Russie uh, started out uh, the proprietors great, grand, whatever, I should have checked, 
<laughs> relatives started the, started out as uh, brush makers in the 1800s in Bordeaux. And the shop that they have is now, that's got to be enough. Shop that they have <clears throat> has been in the same location since nine, uh, 1875. Pretty, pretty cool. So Sanglier is boar and Russie is Russia. So the boars, the boar from Russia. Uh, and uh, I, I, I can't remember exactly, but the, or I didn't understand, but the, there was trading with import of various materials. And uh, that's what, that was for brush material and for, for woods. They used ivory, they used ebony, you know, African wood, that sort of thing as well. And brushes is still the big thing. You, you can find brushes for just about anything, natural haired stuff, really, really pretty cool. Uh, and the shaving part is, is just a piece of it. Um, nicely caked on, so I'm add a bit of water. And um, yeah, it's nice with traditions like that. And he, as I said, I have a YouTube channel, kind of shoot a bit of footage. And he said, yeah, yeah, fine, yeah, very good. It's very accommodating. And he said, yeah, YouTube, I get, I get kids in here, kids, young guys. And they've heard this and that on, uh, on YouTube that this racer is good, that racer is, is bad. I said, oh, I have to re-educate everybody. <laughs> Because he said it depends on, I mean, which safety racer is good. Well, depends on, on the blade, depends on the, the beard, your style, your preferences, everything. So that yeah, was good. I, I promised not to, to lecture too much. A very nice lathering. It's a teeny bit of scratchiness to it, just the right amount. Just the right amount of backbone too. Uh, insanely overloaded brush. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was that was silly. I I really wanted to make sure the water is so hard. So I'm adding quite a bit of water. I will get the handle wet. I do feel bad about that, but you've seen me lather before, and it's usually usually very wet. That's a good enough leather for most folks. So we'll just go ahead and go ahead and add a tad more. Paint that in. Um, we'll call it good. Sanglier de Russe. Yeah, this brush, and you I washed it quite carefully, but you, you still smell the the the, the funk because it's a natural hairbrush. A lot of brushes you get new don't smell like like badger, but they really should, you know? And I, I hear some people complain, ah, oh, it's hard to get the funkiness out, etc. The funkiness, the fact that it smells funky, that's that's how you know it's from a, a you know, live animal. I was going to say a formerly live animal. That's good, that's natural. Should I autofocus? Let's see if that works. Vic Sexto blade with a Kismet blade in it. Style A design. Let's see. But a, a very nice, very nice brush. Feels natural. You know, and in been a long while since I lived in France but and I didn't for very long but in France my impression is you do things the natural way very much yeah so in food for example I 
it's natural, it's organic if you will. I haven't seen a single fat French person yet and there aren't many and they don't always eat the healthiest stuff i mean there's a lot of goodies that isn't necessarily good for you but i think you know the french they eat good produce and they, they don't eat too much and then you can fit in your pain au chocolat or chocolatine as they say here uh, or your 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 wine and what have you So, a healthy society, in many ways, uh, which I think a lot of us could take after, actually. So, cool place, check it out. You can buy from their website, so I'll put a link to that. The, the lightest possible touch. with this treacherous razor, pretty loud water. Uh, so sorry about that. I try to speak French with people. Oh, it's hard. I'm, I'm quite out of practice. So when I, when I ask for something in French and they respond in English, then you know your, your French is not on point. Good first pass. Let's go in for number two. And it's gone down to the handle of the brush. What can you do? What can you do? Not unexpected. So still a bit of funk smell, which as I said, I do enjoy. It's gonna go away with a, a few shaves. And uh, you know, just shows you where the hairs come from. The formerly happy badger. So yeah, very happy with finding that shop and the proprietor, and very happy with the, with the finding the brush. Good shave so far, but geez, is the water hard. If I'd known, I brought Mitchell's wool fat just to see. If I could have lathered that here as well. But it's, it's good, good in Bordeaux. Nice to see my daughter, I haven't seen her in over three months, so today some more excursions and then we're having her and some of her friends over for dinner and yeah we found this food market where you know you see what you're buying so you buy a, a rabbit uh, lapin and the whole thing is there it's stripped out of uh, intestines and skin obviously but you can see everything in the, the the heart or the liver and whatever is, is put to the side so so you see the goodies <laughs> now for whatever reason my daughter's vegetarian so we're not having that but some um, lovely fish we shall see. Fish, vegetables, boiled potatoes maybe. You know, you get hungry when you see places like that and then that's that's a good sign. Okay, let's do the home stretch here, the neck. And then we'll be ready for the day. Bordeaux is quite, quite
quite lovely, the city centre. We did a lot of walking, mainly the you know the shopping streets and that sort of thing yesterday. We'll see a few more sites today, hopefully. Super clean. Feels like a pretty wealthy city. Good looking, well dressed people and just generally nice. Generally nice. That was a good shave. I'm going to rinse now and just get a confirmation on that. Yeah, good enough. Good enough for me. Oh, I did find an aftershave balm as well. I don't know, it's, it's French. So it's called Floram. Some pretty good stuff in it. Some chemical stuff in it too, but mainly mainly the, the good stuff. This is not an artisan product or anything like that. It's just, it's just a balm. We'll take yay much, see what happens. And where, I can't remember where I paid for the brush. It was, it was maybe $150 thereabouts. Oh, nice feeling on the bomb. The bomb was 16 euros. There you go. That's me down. Lovely brush. It's a bit messy now, but this was the star of the potty. I'm going to get it cleaned up and dried up and hope I'm not ruining the wood. The thuya yeah, too much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Stay sharp.